Surprise! The marathon has started. For her first, sixth, fourth, a few others, you guys decided album cover with pets. So remember, you want to take an album cover that you know, that you like. Remember, go tools, size, large. You know. Ooh. And this is the most iconic one of Queen, and if you notice, it's four of them looking straight on. Freddie Mercury has the arms crossed. I'm going to just use that as a reference. So let me go save images. Queen reference. Boom. Minimize that. Then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to try to find some dogs that are looking straight forward. Ooh, dang it, it's in black and white. So it might take a moment to find some dogs that are looking straight forward. But still, this is the marathon. So this is where it's been building up to, okay? So I need four of them. Who would be a Freddie Mercury? Hmm. I'm trying not to use pictures of my dog for once. It's like, you know. But I might. Hmm. It actually works. Because I need the pause too. Okay. So remember too, you also have Texture Lab for all your different textures. So I got Queen. It looks like there is just a little bit of light source coming from the top. So I got to be mindful of that. Okay. Let's go into Photoshop. Oh, we haven't been here in so long. Uh, it's so good to be back. <laughs> Let's go in here. Go to new file. 15 by 15, 72 resolution. RGB, we're back in Photoshop. There we go. Then I'm going to go file, open. I'm just going to use this as a reference. So control A, control C, control V. T. Remember, I'm just using it as reference. Boom, boom. Okay. Let me go ahead and make that a solid color. There we go. Alright. I press Ctrl E to merge it. So now what I need to do is pull in those dogs. Dicky, dicky, dog. Download it, three of them. All right, remember, select subject. Control C, Control V, Control T. There we go. Put a little mask on it. Mask out the body. Get a little bit bigger. There we go. That's one. Let me go for a picture of my pups. Oh yeah. Then I'm gonna go select the subject. She's like literally right over my shoulder. Subject, control C, control V, control T. Thing is to make it the same size as that dog's head. There we go. And just gonna move her down for a second. That one. Open. East one. Select subject. Control C. Control V. Control T. There we go. Let me drop her underneath Dutch. Yep. 
mask it. Mask out the body that you don't need. There we go. Close that one. Open this one. Image crop. Alright, select subject. Let's see what I get. I actually just need the head. I don't need all that other jazz. So let me go into this one. Alt to get rid of all that. I don't like this one, but it's quicker than anything else right now. That's the thing about this week is you want to make sure you're working smart and working effectively to get as many done as you can. Okay, that's the marathon of this. So the marathon is going to be one of those where, you know, whoopsie, you don't really have too much time to play with it all. But you should still remember some of your techniques. Use the videos that I've attached. Ooh, that's perfect. Okay. And then see, I can move this one up to give it more spaciousness. There you go. This one. I'll put a little mask on that one. And just come in here and do this. There we go. Now, why didn't I put a mask on the Dutch? Because two reasons. One, I need two things from her. One, I need the face. Then I need the paws. So I could do it a couple different ways. So let me just grab these legs. Okay. So one, I need the legs. So that'll be the legs. I could apply a layer mask. Then on this one, I could just mask it. And just go here. Boop. There you go. Okay, so let me bring her down. Now at this point, this is where it gets fun because I don't need the original photo. Now what I need to do is just start making it look good because I got it pretty much set where they are supposed to be. Keep it simple. Okay, so that's that dogs. Just doing a cleanup of the different masks. You know. And let me turn off everything but that dog. There we go. Okay. So here I could really fine tune the mask, you know. Get in here, change the size. And now. There we go. Get really tight on the collars. That's kind of one of those fun things is if you're doing it, you know. There we go. I'm going to apply the layer mask. Turn on this guy. Turn off that guy. Okay, so let me get rid of all that. Boom. Boom. Get tighter on it. Okay. Now remember, there's an outer line around this one. Check this out. So what I'm going to do is go select subject. Okay. So it should select the dog. Ooh, got to get more of the collar. Okay. So if I get that, then I mask it. Now what I could do is go filter, other, minimum. See how I got rid of that line around it? I could also up it just by two. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do three. Ta-da. That outer limit is around it. Apply. So let me turn off that one. Turn on this one. Looks pretty good. Same thing. I could do select. Let me apply the layer mask. Select subject again. Then I can mask it. 
filter other minimum ooh there we go okay and then just kind of work that in there we go I felt like I was like, maybe it should be a different background. It's true in some cases, but not in all of them. Last little bit. My BB. Here we go. Right at the collar. Let's get that. My layer mask. Okay, so I got them all there. Looking good. Last little bit is I need the pause. So, move them over here. Here. Better mask it just to be safe and follow my own strict guidelines. There we go. Apply a layer mask, right click, apply. Take the leg. Control T, spin it. Start it a little. There we go. Cool. I actually kind of like that leg. So what I'll do is get rid of this one. Because it's a straight leg. And I'll just make a copy of it. And control T. Right click. Flip horizontal. Here we go. Cool. And if I look at the original. Let's see. Looks pretty good. Um... I'm going to change the color of the background. I want it darker. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that way I could hide more stuff. Control E, merge. I don't need this anymore except for just looking at the font. It's not bad. Screw it. There we go. Hmm. I figured that out. Okay, so let me do this. Adjustments. Let's brighten this darkness. Let's brighten it. Contrast it. There we go. Cool. Now let's blend that. There we go. If I really wanted to afterwards, if it's really bothering you, you could take it there. Kind of go boom. Now that fits. Okay. And last little bit I'll do is just go Control E, Control E, Control E, Control E. They're all on the same layer now. So remember, it's all about those filters. Okay. You have Texture Lab. So give it some. Ooh, that might actually work. You large. 303. So remember, if I want to, I'm going to go Sharpen, Unsharpen Mask first. 150 by 3, press OK. Filter, stylize, oil paint. Hit it with some lightness. Ooh, it's looking really sharp. There we go. Cool. And right there, I kind of like it the way it is, so I'm going to save this one. File, layer. Save as, on your computer, PNG, desktop. I'm going to put your name and queen, too. Okay. That's the example there. And then, 
A little bit of grunge, if you will. Control A, Control C, Control V, Control T. Sometimes too, you don't need the grunge filters with all the built-in filters, so always keep that in mind. But if you want to, you can. Okay. Right click, distort, pull this point down to this. Boop. This definitely down to that. Boop. Enter. Layer layer blends. There we go. And just go layer flatten image. I'm going to save as. Boom. Okay. And that's pretty much the demo in a nutshell. I will have other examples. And uh, after the walkthrough and stuff, we should be able to have some more fun with this. And remember, it's about quality. You should be able to do at least five. Okay. All right. Have a good one and enjoy. Remember also the save format at the end, save as PNG. Okay.